Hello everybody, this is Muhammad. Uh, today it's uh, Friday, January uh, 25th, 2019. And uh, as I had promised, I will bring up some updates with the, uh, with the greenhouse that we have here. Let me start from this side here. Uh, this is the update about the the tomatoes see how how much flowers we have here in this tomato and how big is the tomato trees here they're doing wonderful they're just doing wonderful okay this is some hay we're planting here for the uh, for the animals this is some red radish we just chopped uh, one day ago and there we can see it's growing back we chopped it about four times up to now since the day we planted and it's just doing wonderful this grow bed here has some hay and uh, we're growing for the uh, as I said in my previous uh, video for the animals this is roca we are leaving for the uh, for the seeding. This is tomato here. Okay. Tomato is just doing wonderful. I don't know. Is it because of the season, or is it because of the aquaponic? I'm not sure. I cannot uh, just predict like that. Okay. This is. Uh, a mixed grow bed, some tomatoes here, some uh, hay for the animals. This is the hay with three leaves. There is another hay which has five leaves, the Egyptian one, I guess. That's the corn. That's also here the corn. As you can see, we have some deficiencies in the iron, but I decided not to add anything to it, just leave it as normal as possible and let's see what mother nature bring us okay so the uh, tomato here that's the greenhouse uh, uh, filter cooling filter okay this is so, ah yeah uh, here uh, about two weeks ago I took some uh, some of the uh, some of the uh, branches from the other tomatoes there there and then I just uh, put them in the, in the in the in the siphon basket basket or bucket and see the roots are growing and we can just plant them anywhere we need anywhere in the grow bed but since we have so many tomatoes you know I decided to just leave them here okay we chop we chop this off also about a day ago for the animals let me check yeah I also put here some see 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 the roots they're just coming uh, this is if you have just one plant of uh, tomato you can just take uh, a branch of it and see it's even flowering you can just put it here as much as you could and then just transplant them somewhere else and they did the same here see how the roots are doing and this is the plant see how healthy it is very nice yeah, I would like to apologize for uh, for calling this uh, uh, um, uh, ginger last week. This is not ginger. This is uh, yeah. So uh, this is uh, garlic. These are garlic, not ginger, as I claimed in my uh, previous video. Just I don't want to misguide you all. Uh, okay, so let's move to this grow bed. We chop this 
uh, we have flood here. We have some issues here. I think last week also we had a grow bed that has a uh, blocked siphon because some rock or some roots went in inside. So we have to adjust it. So, so this is this is uh, actually the grow bed there, you know. And uh, that's the uh, that is the uh, that's the rocca here. That's the rocca. And uh, that is that's the onion here. And this grow bed we have some onion we have some dill the dill we have chopped about uh, two days two days ago i guess and it's growing wonderful okay this is here the asian the asian plant i don't know what's the name of it again okay and i'm sure you all no, what is this and this one they're just wonderful do, do, doing very good and this one here we just left it for for taking the seeds out okay uh, see the onion onion also is doing wonderful that's the uh, corn see how tall is the core okay this is also the dill we chopped it two, two days ago and that is the uh, radish see how big is the radish doing wonderful okay. this is the carrot carrot also doing wonderful alright tomato here that's the cauliflower we chopped this also a day ago tomato corn this is some dill See how massive is just this growing you can see down there okay corn uh, I'll show you some tomatoes here um, let me go to the other side let me go to the other side here tomatoes just I've seen them I'm sure yeah there they are they're still tiny but small tiny tomorrow big they will grow hopefully yeah so there's some tomatoes here as you can see here that is Nicholas fixing the siphon and uh, yeah actually that's all about it here let me just uh, give you the surprise for this week we have decided to add 
48 uh, row beds. See here, this is actually, this is 10 and that is 11. So it's 42, sorry, 42 row beds. This is 10 and that is uh, 11. And also here is 10 and that is there at the end, 11. We're just doing the testing, so hopefully by the end of this week, everything will be settled. And we have the pump there, half HP pump, and we have also the siphon. The idea of the siphon, as we can see here, it's a U siphon. I've taken it from Afnan. My greeting to Afnan. Uh, this is to. Uh, to Afnan uh, the idea is just to have uh, uh, tank connectors there connected to the grow bed and then it goes and it gets to a reducer and then we have uh, two inches goes all the way there all the way there two inches okay and here key and same thing it goes all the way there at the end and by holding the, the the siphon and adjusting it you know whether you know we pull it to our side or push it the other way around this is how we adjust the level of water you know up and down so as we all know the water level should be below the surface by centi uh, five centimeters so if the if the gravel is up to here the water the water excuse me the water level should be up to here so we have to have this gap which has no water at all otherwise the neck of the uh, the neck of the plant will be rotten and it will die um, yeah this is this is all about it and I hope you all enjoyed please if you like and benefited from the video don't forget to, re to press this and press the bell button up there thank you so much and see you in another video bye for now